Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Hidden form fields give you another layer of customization to use with your integration. For example, being able to track where an opt-in came from or who referred them. During this tech tip, let's dive into hidden fields. Now, as you can see here, I do have a landing page pulled up that I've already created, I'm going to be using. And on my page, I'm going to head to the form widget as this is where I'll be setting up the field information. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my button widget and more specifically edit pop up here to access that form widget and click on it to access its settings. Now I'm gonna be using MailChimp as the integration I'd like opt-in data collected to be sent to. And in MailChimp system, I want to make sure to have the fields I'm going to be making hidden. In this case, I'm going to include a source field and a referred by field. So let's go ahead and head into MailChimp here. And in MailChimp, I'm using my tech tips audience. And in my form builder for my tech tips audience, I do have a source and referred by field. Now, just a quick note that I wanted to make is UTM parameters. So UTM underscore parameters are not able to be sent to an email service provider at this time. So make sure that your form field does not include a UTM underscore parameter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and head back into lead pages. And what I'm going to do in my form is I'm going to make sure that I select that MailChimp is a destination that opt-in information collected is to be sent to. So I'm gonna click on add an integration here, going to select MailChimp. I always like to refresh list, but for the sake of our video's time, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this, but do make sure to refresh your list here if you made any changes in MailChimp system, and then select your destination in MailChimp, so your audience in MailChimp. So I'm gonna look for my tech tips audience and go ahead and select that. Now, once MailChimp has been set as an integration, I can continue to receive an email via the lead notifications integration. Uh, that's just when somebody submits their information, I get that email to the designated email address. But of course, I can remove that. And for example's sake, I'm going to go ahead and do so. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the fields portion of the form setup. And this is where I'm going to add in those form fields. So let's go ahead and say add a field and I'm going to see my source field. And for my source field, what I'm going to do, I know that I wanna make this hidden. So I wanna check this box to make it hidden. And then it's gonna ask me to put a default value. I can go ahead and just put anything for that because I am gonna set up URL mapping. And I'm gonna go ahead and say source here. And you'll see why in just a moment. And then I wanna click done. And then I'm going to say add a field and do referred by. And again, I wanna make sure that is hidden may ask me to put in a default value, so I'll just go ahead and put in one now, and then I wanna do referred by, and I can do underscore by, that is totally fine. And I'll go ahead and click done, and I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, once I've set those parameters, and I'm gonna go ahead and publish my page here. Once I set those parameters, I'm gonna grab the URL of the page to make some changes to it. I need to include those URL parameters. So, Let's go ahead and let that publish and copy our link here. I'm gonna pull up a notepad. And in my notepad here, let me go ahead and bring that onto our screen. I'm going to make sure to include my hidden fields. So right where this slash is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a question mark. And then I'm going to go ahead and say source equals and whatever I want that source to equal. So in this case, I'm going to say lead pages and then I wanna include my other fields. So I wanna put an ampersand or an and symbol. And then I wanna do referred underscore by equals. And I'm gonna say Daniel in this case, because that's me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this URL. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into my browser. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. You'll see, I'll go ahead and pull my screen down here. So included that information, our source, and referred by in the URL. And I'm gonna go ahead and submit my opt-in. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my email address here. So I'll go ahead and put an email address here for us. And I'm gonna do testing one, two, three, A, B, C here. And I'll send that information. Now let's go ahead and head to MailChimp and let's take a look at what shows there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull MailChimp up here and I'm going to find my audience and in my audience, I'm gonna go ahead and view my contacts. 
All right, so in my contacts here, right away at the top, we have that nice opt-in that I did. And we'll see that source is filled out with lead pages, the parameter that we had noted. And referred by is filled out with Daniel. And of course, me, the subscriber, I did input that email address. I'm going to go ahead and head back into my lead pages account here. I'll go ahead and close out of the publishing modal. I wanted to take a quick moment to thank you for hanging out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away.